Welcome to the show. I'm your host, Connor Rolls, and this is the Nerd at Gods podcast, episode 135. Joining me, as always, Steven Sims. God save our gracious queen. God, I don't know the rest of the word, but uh, rest in peace, man. The queen, she just passed away about... Well, she, pa- she passed away this afternoon, but it was announced about 20 minutes ago. So, man, this is this is such a strange time for Steve. Start deepest condolences, Sims. For I gotta change all my money, man. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, what's going Go on? Go ahead, show the coin. Show the people the coin. coin man. Yeah. Out of respect. Holy. Just all the audio listeners, there's just like a little coin. Yeah. With their head. Out of curiosity, how much is that coin worth? Uh, this is a ten pence piece. That's it. That's all she gets, huh? Oh, she's on the pounds. She's on the twenties. She's on them all. Did she? She puts herself on all of them. Yeah, 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 we really spread the love a little bit. I mean, that's a little. <laughs> I mean, I mean, well, has there been the other notes. queens? We got like Winston Churchill on a few of the notes as well. Okay, I can see that. Yeah, we put Mel Gibson on all of ours. Just Mel Gibson. Mm, he, he's Australian, but yeah, I'm pretty sure he's Australian. <laughs> 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 also joining us, Daniel. Never really. Never. Really. What's up, gamers? Never really. We did just update the hundred dollar bill of Will Smith slapping Chris Rock. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great iconic moment in American history. Uh, guys, how how we doing, Sims? I know your your queen's dead. You keep saying it. <laughs> I know. I just I just like talking about it. I really think we should title this episode "The Queen's Dead." <laughs> We're not. Um, doing it. <laughs> I don't know. Like I just said, like it's it's such a weird thing. It's a weird thing because like she's been the queen since I was, you know, born. So I think it's apparently it's the longest reign we've had. So I don't know. It's just weird. Do you know what I mean? It's, there's been talk. I think her husband died last year. So mm-hmm. I don't know. It's weird. It just it just means that the, the next couple of days are going to be really like we've just had a new prime minister like yesterday, and now she died. So I we all blame Boris Johnson. He's just he's just pissed her off, just stressed her out that much. That's what happened. You can't but stress out a ninety-six like, year old woman, you know. I mean, but yeah, but she was the, like Boris Johnson, like the poli- poli- politics. Boris Johnson had to go down there and resign. It's such a weird thing because he came out in like number ten down his street, and he's like, "Oh yes, I'm uh, going to uh, resign, and uh, we have a uh, safe money." Or well, you haven't, um, and he's like, "Oh, better internet for everyone." I'm like, "I'm still waiting for fiber, Boris. I'm still waiting." I'm just totally, it, but then he get he gets in a car, and then he has to get an airplane, and then he has to go fly to the Queen and resign, and then the new one turns up, and she's like, "Oh, you're all right. How you doing?" And then she has to go to the Queen and be like, "Oh, can I be Queen? Can I be Prime Minister?" And she's like, "Yeah, whatever." And then she's dead today. So, yeah, I'm at a loss for words with you, man. I just don't, I don't understand. I didn't know you had a Prime Minister and a Queen. If yeah, I'm honest, I don't know. I don't know how it works over there. So, like, can you not go take the throne right now? Is that that's not a thing? It's not, that's not I mean, what happens. I mean, if if I was like, if I had royal blood, but I'd be way sure. down. Like, if it turns out like, you know, my dad. What I'm saying, in. you you get your kids, you get Natalie, and the four of you all go storm the walls of the castle. Yeah, we'd get shot right away. A shot? They got guns? I thought they didn't have guns in the. They UK. have guns around the palace. Yeah. Mm. They had, they had guns a big spear. outside. They have them red people, don't they? And then big woolly hats. Sure, sure. Yeah. Uh, red coats. Yes. Um. Uh. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You, I'd get shot. Like there was guns outside the Prince of Ali Stadium when I watched the wrestling the other day. Like, mm-hmm. It's very rare you see a gun, but when you do, even like it was a bit, it's like you get. I don't know. You guys, you must see guns all the time, right? Cops. All right. the time. All the time. Everyone, all, the, all the cops just ca- yeah but you live in the sticks Daniel you live in a town that nobody's heard of like no, 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 no one's getting shot where you live there's no point no one's gonna get you on I'm telly. in the south if you're gonna shoot someone's getting shot in Nashville <laughs> I'm in the south you don't know what you're talking about if someone's getting America, shot someone's getting like, shot everywhere I've not turned over to NBC I haven't got NBC and it's like oh yeah someone got shot in Nashville because no one's gonna no, like you have to like get all your equipment and climb the mountains and like, I live in a decent sized city. I think you'd be surprised, but no, I, I, I am in the south, so it's it's. But your cops carry guns, right? Yeah, I mean that's standard over America. But that's not standard over here. So like when I'm walking, th- yeah. I'm going to watch. You know, I'm gonna, I'm about to watch Clash at the Castle, 
And then for being Ryan, the police swap man, and he's carrying for being AK-47 with all the, like, fully, like, um, Call of Duty reference, fully, like, prestige. He's got all the attachments. Silence. Uh, Diamond camo. camo. <laughs> <laughs> An unnecessary red dot sight. That's a skull. Mm. <laughs> Why do you need that? Now, since they countered the guns at the castle walls, do you have access to a dragon? I believe there was a dragon inside the castle I was next to at Clash at the Castle. Could you perhaps steal that dragon? I'm just I mean, trying to make you they king wanted, here. But... They wanted to charge me like eleven pounds to go in the castle. I just wasn't feeling it. Bit much. It. A lot of Bit stairs. Much. They were charging me eleven pounds to climb the stairs. A lot of walking. Just wasn't yeah. feeling it. I've got a picture. Well, let me see if I can see. Shit. It's just a lot of stairs. Just a lot of. Stairs. I want to see these stairs. How many stairs? Oh, I should really just upload it for the kids. Another uh, thing I didn't know that they had stairs in England. Yeah, a lot of stairs. You think everything was just slopes? Yeah. Figured they just, you know, I, I thought it was kind of just like mud hills going up there. You know, they ride their ponies, uh, to get everywhere. Wow. Oh, that does look cool. <laughs> it was a really small castle. That's not what I imagined. <laughs> I think it's no, probably bigger. But than no, you but think to it be is. fair, like what we were in was the castle as well. Oh, yeah, okay. that was part so of the property. Because they did sure. like this, like Undertaker experience. So, like, literally, it was like the longest line you'll ever see, and you get and you get into this like underground dungeon bit. And then, and then he awakens, <laughs> and it's literally like, is that that's where the dragon is? I play the video. I play the video. Very pink. And it's just literally that. It's just that room with like a few Undertaker coats, and we queued for like two yeah. hours. Crazy. Wow. Interesting story. Well, yeah. Well, no, yeah where was his cool queen? I could yeah. like, we should record podcasts like this, man. I'm enjoying this. Fuck the game. How are you <laughs> feeling, lads? <laughs> Anyways, guys. Speaking of video games, it has been another busy week in the world of video games. Guys, what are we starting with? Pokemon? Uh, yeah, that's what Sims wants to start with. Okay, cool. We'll go with that. Pokemon <laughs> Scarlet like and Violet. <laughs> Pokemon Scarlet and Violet has gotten a new trailer, as well as a bundle announcement. You can pre-order the special edition OLED Switch now, and it's available on November 4th. Before the game releases on November 18th. Guys, now you two are big Pokemon fans. Sims got a shit ton of Pokemon stuffed animals right above his head. Sims, you excited for this? Uh yeah. I am. Yeah. Well, let's start um, with the trailer. Did you watch the new trailer? Did on, you enjoy it? God, that was bad. Daniel, um, you start. Yeah, you start, Daniel. I'm sorting some of that. Okay. Uh yeah, I did watch the trailer. Um they kind of go into the three different storylines in the trailer. So if you remember the, I think it was the initial trailer, they talked about three different campaigns or whatever. So they kind of split the trailer and show you the three different parts. They, there's the, the like, I forget what they called it at this point, but the place where all the kids are and you can like battle each other, uh, I guess from the different schools Hogwarts. and stuff. Uh, yes. So there's the area where Hogwarts is and uh, they showed some lady with a crazy car standing on it with like speakers or something. I don't know what was going on with her, but um, there was that area. Then they showed um, the two other campaigns and then they interspliced it with a bunch of uh, uh, new Pokemon. They showed like one with like a gun and one with two swords or something. Um, These yeah. Pokemon getting fucking violent in this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looks uh, cool. I mean, it graphically still doesn't look great, but I don't know. Maybe when we're playing, it might look better. Not just a trailer. I think. I mean, look at this badass like engine Pokemon. Like this is cool, man. Yeah, there's the car. So, Sims, I actually don't know where are you with Pokemon Violet and Scarlet as a whole. I mean, it's quite hard to not be excited because when my girlfriend's that excited. Like that's all you can think about. That's like she's at the point where like she don't want to play anything except for this game. It's like ah, I'm, I'm like two months to wait type thing. Uh, yeah, I'm excited, man. I mean, t it comes out around like the World Cup as well. So like, not only made a point. Like you just I'll be jamming. Like I've got this on handheld and football on all all, all winter. Like, I'm buzzing. Like I'm really excited. And like they 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 seem to get like they have like three. It's not just your simple normal eight badges. Uh, they seem to have like three different stories, like a Pe Pokemon Legends Arceus type thing going on with this big claw, this big crab thing. Then you've got your gyms, 
and then you've got obviously the, the 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 bad guys. So I mean, it looks like you're for a, you're a good you know good forty fifty hour campaign. Like that's good, man. I'm really excited. I mean, I like it. I like the idea. You know, Pokemon Shield was good, so this is just going to improve on it and. I'm gonna have a great time. I'm. I really. I like the trailer. The the trailer was a a lot all at once. It was quite exciting. It was like boom, 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 boom. Information, information. I was like, fucking hell. All right, calm down. But yeah, man. The 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 engine. So the uh. This. Do we have a name for the engine if, Pokemon? If see, do we not? Uh, I think we do. But this is a this is a Pokemon. That's so cool. I was trying to think yeah. of a name. I don't know a name. So we, I, I, think we do I wouldn't know even know name. what to we name that. Name. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Carnito? Engine Mon. Engine Mon. That's no, it's not. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it is not Engine Mon. <laughs> There's it no way. I'm still waiting for the other evolutions of the starters. That's what I've been waiting you for. You won't get them, I don't think. We didn't get them last time, to be fair. The only reason we got them... I think them we got it like got a day leaked. before, right? Was it leaked? Like a week they got before? leaked like oh, a week and a okay. half in advance. And happened? the guy got sued, didn't he? Someone got hold of the uh, someone got hold of the guidebook and was just oh. Uh, so I don't. Think um, I I, I want I want them to the 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 evolution that final evolution for the stars. That's all I want. That's all I, I need people, to see. Really, I think the leaks the people have described them in leaks. If that makes. Sense. I think oh, the okay. Pokemon. I think is it the cat one doesn't stay on all fours and everyone's kicking off about it. Always, they always stand on two legs every time to become a humanoid cat. Of course. What about you, Connor? Are you gonna pick this one up? Yeah, I'll pick it up. This is my first time watching this trailer. I didn't actually. I, I I'm just not that interested. They were so close to the game coming out anyway, yeah. so it's just like yeah, whatever. But yeah, it looks cool. I don't know. It looks like very minorly upgraded from Pokemon Sword and Shield, and uh, which I guess is fine. You know, it's you can't be asking for too much when it comes to Pokemon. I mean, this is only what three years apart from the last one. It came out in 2019, yeah. Yeah, so three years. So yeah, I guess I wouldn't be expecting like the world or everything to change in uh in the Pokemon game. But yeah, it looks cool. I don't know. So it's just gonna be another Pokemon game, right? I'm not really expecting this to blow my socks off or anything, but excited for it nonetheless. Got some good premises though, and they like you can play with your friends. Like we don't really know how limited that is, but yeah, you know, me and Natalie in the same world. You know, she's doing her thing, I'm doing my thing. Like, you know, that's good, man. I'm excited, like. It's so all, it's kind like of like the, that open area in Sword and Shield is like the, the whole, whole game. Thing. Wild area. The yeah, the whole thing. thing. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be, I, I'm I'm guessing it's going to be like Arceus, have sectioned off areas. I doubt it's one continuous area. I'm I'm assuming there is loading. There's just no way the Switch and Game Freak can do that. I, mean, I don't, I don't trust though, Game Freak. Like, what is Zelda? Yeah, but I don't trust Game Freak enough to do that. Can you climb on everything with the Pokemon? Like, I see him riding I mean, that's the ideal. side. Uh, yeah, that'd be ideal, right? That's Just ideal, yeah. Don't give me a stupid stamina bar, and that'd be really fun. <laughs> exciting to um, Yeah, Very I'm exciting. excited. I mean, I, this is coming out, um, I think, a week, a little less, or a little bit more than a week, uh, after God of War. So, like, I gotta beat God of War before I get Pokemon. Um, that's, yeah, Pokemon's that's a I'm nice one for me to play in the background. Like, I don't really yeah. care when it comes out necessarily. Like, I can just pick it up, put it down whenever. It's not like I'll be like rushing through this or whatever, personally. Totally. totally. It's, 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 it can be passive if you want it to be passive. If you're just grinding levels or just going to a gym, you can just pop on a show and handheld it up or something. That's it, man. Football and Pokemon. More does one man need. Football and Pokemon. Yeah. Football in my dressing gown. World Cup, eh? Hey. The, English, the English are really annoyed about this whole World Cup in November thing. All right, we want to be in the in the summer, getting a suntan, drinking beer, not in our living room, in our dressing gown, radiators on, cup of hot chocolate. <laughs> we don't want that. You know what I mean? You can't that throw hot so chocolate cozy, in though. the air. Like, Come on, you can't throw hot chocolate in the air. Okay. Why'd they change it to November? Because is it is it Qatar? 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 Yeah. Qatar is too hot. Qatar? In the summer. Uh, Qatar. No, Qatar. Okay. Yeah. Should water bend it stuff. Their, chain, <laughs> their season's different. Sure. All right, next up then. Uh, Xbox has officially announced Game Pass friends and family uh, plan. A friends and family plan. You'll now be able to share Game Pass Ultimate with four other people for $25 a month in the US and $22 a month in the EU. I know it's not called dollars over there, whatever the fuck you call it. Pounds. Pounds. Those cool coins Sim just showed us. You need 22 of those to get this. So, No. 
I think you need much more than that. A lot more, a lot more. Okay, (laughs) whatever. (laughs) I mean, that that made you look. I mean, you get you were like uh, nearly there. Like, what was that? Twenty of them. So that's twenty two pounds. Twenty two of these stuff. The queen's face on it. So you just need like a lot more. Yeah, you need a lot more. (laughs) Okay, twenty two thousand. Excuse me. No, not that many. Okay, not that many. Because there's twenty two hundred. There's ten ten p's in one pound. Sure, sure. Yeah. Daniel, you're good at math. Go ahead. Uh, well, you'd add another zero. Okay. So you need 220. I didn't ask you to talk it through. That's it? 220? Okay, great. Yeah. You what you pull out his fucking whiteboard? <laughs> <laughs> Carry the zero. <laughs> Daniel pulls out a chalkboard and shit. All right. Uh, guys, yeah. Game plan here with uh, Game Pass. What, what the fuck are we talking about? I think they're, Game what Pass is their friends and family plan. Okay. Are can you guys you... excited? Will we get this? Can you tell me how many people, if you, if, it's up if, to four. if it isn't a... I'm trying to get So it's, it's, it's me and four, or is it four total? Four total. It's four total. With okay, games, okay. That's with still... Game Pass, friends and family, you and up to four players can enjoy Game Pass Ultimate for just twenty one ninety nine a month. That's your rose, by the way. Everyone can enjoy hundreds of high quality games. So like basically, it was four could like we could save some cash. Um, I'm not sure how it works with America. Um, I mean, Ooh, sort of, it might need to be in the same country. Probably, I, d- I don't know. I, I'm, I don't think Xbox are not bothered. Nah, yeah. I mean, who knows? I'd have to look, do some more research into that. I mean, this would help me and my kids, but it's good. It just costed me more money in it. So, I mean, I pay what, not 10? that much. No, it's only another ten pounds, and then obviously. I could have it. But do you already buy Game Pass for your kids? I buy it and then we just share my account because I'm not oh, on the Xbox okay. that much. I mean, yeah, if the kids this could here, actually like, be we... very useful for you. 100, percent yeah, definitely. But I don't know. Maybe I just stick to the 10 pound one. I'm not paying. Well, I'm paying 20 pound a month. Oh, the kids just play Fortnite anyway, don't they? In the Roblox. Um, but like, I'd be happy. Like, why not? Like, it's just it, because it's a monthly thing. It, it becomes a bit like. With the with the with the Nintendo one, like I've I've hooked up with a bunch of like randos. I've not spoke to them since I since we signed up. Do you know what I mean? I was I jumped to a load of Facebooks. So like, who wants to save some cash? Um, I think it what was it seven pound each, uh, and that's for the year. So we only have to see each other once a year. Do you know what I mean? But this would be like if we did it all four of us. Is like I don't know hypothetically like we're all chipping in, and you're like Steve, we need your, I don't know, is it it'd be like six pound six pounds a month, something, right? And you're like, oh, Steve, where's your six pound? Like, oh, boys, you know, uh, the queen died. I'm really upset. I haven't got it right now. Do you know what I mean? Like, or the government Can't came and took all money with the queen's head on it. Like, oh my god. Uh, but no, yeah, it, it would have been cool if it was just like a year. If we were just like, oh, a yearly fee, you know, hundred fifty dollars. I mean, there might be one of those. They might never do something like that. Xbox Game Pass. It's dead weird. Can you never buy a Game Pass? I've just never like, seen. I'm gonna I've get seen a year. Okay. I've seen three months. I just do monthly. I've so. not seen a year. But yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, if they I mean, had still, that option for Game Pass, you'd think it would be on the storefront, right? Like, I've never uh, seen it. Oh, true. True. Well, they did it with Gold, uh, didn't they? Did... Yeah, they, yeah, that's why I was. Day. That's why. Yeah, I used to do three month, one month, three month, and 12 months, I think it was what it was. Um, yeah, this is, this is a good deal. I mean, $25. I mean, that's. Ultimate is only 15 Like. Ten dollars more, and you get extra people added on. Like that's a pretty good deal. Yeah, I do think it's per- perfect for people like Sims with uh, his whole family using it and whatnot. I guess if your kids don't really play I mean, other it games, it kind of works but... already with me. Like I don't use it that much, but like last last week, like like last week when I was playing Immort- Immortality, and I'm there like oh I'm like really I was proper into it, like into it, like consumed my life and um you know like all of a sudden oh you've been signed out because we've been roxanne's playing fucking dream world disney game damn forget that nah, <laughs> nah. you tell me your kids weren't into immortality no I, no honestly, Don't like, show them. they came back off holiday on the sunday and like <laughs> i couldn't get to the xbox until monday so like I had to make it a, a mission to finish the game Monday night so I could delete the game. Mm. So they didn't accidentally go do on to it. Why do you not want your kids to play that game? I don't my understand. kids have just put it on and all of a sudden <laughs> the scary white lady's there like, I was there on the cross. I'm like, kids won't ever sleep. Like, <laughs> oh my I daddy. didn't sleep. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Jason, uh, all right. Jason Schreier just tweeted out, damn, she won't even get to celebrate the Dreamcast 23rd anniversary. <laughs> That's what she was holding out for. Wow. <laughs> Too bad. Except American crazy. Xbox has announced some new games coming to Game Pass for the month of September, including Metal Hell Senior and a potential Game of the Year contender, Disney Dreamlight Valley. Well, no, it's Simpsons not even playing. full release. <laughs> oh, it's still this Game of the Year access. contender. Still okay. Game of the Year contender, all right? Early access releases count now. Guys, okay. it's a very good list. I'm very excited about the Metal Hell Senior thing. That's why no. I wanted to put it on there. And that's why this I is like you the perfect in, in game, game, uh, game Pass game because it's like one of those... I don't. I'm not willing to spend money to find out if I like it or not. You know, so it's like great. I think it's a budget already, pass. though, right? Yeah. It's not pretty much any time we say like, "Oh, we're gonna wait for reviews on that game." That's a perfect Game Pass game, right there. You know, for sure. Yeah, that's exactly what you what you want. Get that. Get those games right in the border. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think it's a. I think this is a budget game. I think it's forty dollars. Yeah. Yeah. So like that's still a steal, but then like this is perfect. Just get it now on Game Pass. Like, this questions game... about it. Like Natalie's overheard that it was free. Um. And I Which one, I Hellsinger? Was, no, sorry. Dream, I thought, I thought you were talking it's about going to be free next year, the full release. Yeah, yeah. She, she kept talking about it last night, and yeah. I wasn't quite clued up on it until today with like po- catching up on podcasts and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And um, I think it's free to play, but then there's like a thirty dollar edition right now. It's not yeah, free to play it's, now. It's, I don't it's think because it's, oh, it's, it's, uh, it's right early now. access now, but obviously Ga- so. Games Pass makes it free, and then next year yeah. it's free. So, but she's quite interested. Yeah. I'm I thought the thirty dollar edition just added stuff, but maybe do you have to I think buy the thirty dollar edition? I think you do now because it's early access. Gotcha. And then what? Yeah. And then when the whole thing comes out, it'll be free. Yes, that's odd. Well, it, you're getting it like a whole year probably ahead of time. Sure. And you're, I, I'm sure that they're gonna. But it's not like you're the game's gonna be, finished, right? Like, wouldn't there be? More you're gonna be testing it. Uh, I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you're getting a lot for. It just seems it. odd. You'd think it'd be the other way around. No, because I think that what they're doing is having these people that are purchasing it now or playing it through Game Pass help with the development a little bit, maybe iron, iron, ironing things out and stuff. Um, but yeah, it. Uh, I guess Nick has been playing <laughs> Dreamlight. Is what he? Oh, it I gotta like. download it, Nick. We can you do? come into each other's uh, <laughs> Disney worlds. That'll be a great time. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you do in this game necessarily. I heard it's just like Animal Crossing, but Disney. So, yeah, uh, I think you're like helping. Know. That sounds cool to me. Helping the people around the valley, yeah. I guess. Uh, could we get Sora in this game? That'd be fun. No, that's Just that's square. Around. I swear they took the fucking mechanic with the phone from Kingdom Hearts three and they like turn it around. This was in Yakuza oh. as well, which is weird. Maybe this is just a Japanese thing. Although a Japanese, this is a Japanese sure. game, but uh, and Persona has a phone. Yeah, nonetheless. Uh, let's see what else they have on here for this month. I don't think there's anything too much notable other than those yeah, two. Yeah, nothing other than noticeable. Ones. Well, Train Sim World 3. I'm I mean, sure that there's on, a whole audience for that. DC yeah. League of Super Pets. Mm, it's a good one. It's a good one. September 13th, if you're interested in that. Yeah, and nothing else too much noticeable, but Metal Health Senior. Way to go, yeah. Xbox. Thank you. Thank you. I Appreciate assume that it, was already though. for a long. I didn't think it was such a big deal. No, it wasn't. Yeah. I'm very it is a big deal now. Anyways, next yes, up. The, what, what, what date was that? Was it the Metal 15th? Is that what you said? Yeah, yeah, 15th. Yeah, the 15th. Cool. Yeah. Coming up the uh, next week, actually. So not too far yeah. away. Next up, then. The Elite Series 2 controller is coming to Xbox Design Labs, which means you'll be able to customize and purchase your own Elite controller. Available now. Oh, I didn't even know that. I didn't see that. You could do that now? Whoa. So. That's so cool. Uh, that. This is what people have been wanting. The uh, The Elite uh two and it, and it's customizable that's awesome we don't have it in here but they also announced a more simple version of the elite controller for yes. 120 dollars in the us i don't know what it is in the eu but uh it just comes with the back paddle i believe i don't know maybe daniel you know more um i think it, it doesn't come with the detach the other sticks i think all of like that kind of stuff is yeah purchasable after uh really the paddles the i don't know paddle. I don't I know, know about the, the back paddles, paddles either. There. I've seen the back. It is there. On okay. The picture, okay. Yeah. So I guess you just get the paddles. You don't get like the other D pad or the, the other sticks and stuff. But um, cool. it being a more budget, like elite controller, I might the buy same this because like I I want one, but like I don't really want to spend the money for an elite controller. Same thing with the PlayStation one coming out. But I want like the heft to it. You know, a heavy controller. That's why, that's why I like it. You know it. what I yes. mean? Yeah. Like I'm not going to use the back paddle or anything or the different analog sticks, but like I, I want the I want the heft. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. The heft is it makes sense. The back paddles actually don't work for how I hold a controller. So I, I actually like I'd have to completely rework. I'll show you. I have to completely rework <laughs> how I hold a controller. <laughs> so I hold my controller this way. Like I balance it there. So I'm like that. Right. So I put a lot of pressure here. So that's where the paddles are. Like I'd have to like put more pressure here and then do that. Does that make sense? So I'm you holding are it with a strange my strange human being, Daniel. You're I'm fucking weird. Like <laughs> Why are you so weird? <laughs> I'm all the people we met two fucking years ago. We this is how this I hold a controller. Time. It doesn't you know, look weird. Vibrations. You don't like it. It doesn't look weird. And you hold vibrations is garbage. What is What's incredible you? You is we make fun of the, uh, the the Jim Ryan picture all the time, but you hold a controller <laughs> weird. Look how I'm holding a controller. I'm holding <laughs> it normally. You okay. okay. were there when Jim Ryan was like, oh, so how do I hold this? And you were like, oh, Jim, I got you, man. I got He's you, doing this. <laughs> He's doing this. Like a steering wheel, okay? <laughs> you fucking I, I hold, I put pressure. I put pressure here with my Why? fingers. That's all I do. Just hold it normally, man. <laughs> To be That's fair, how... I thought he was gonna come up with some weird shit. Where he's, I like, did. He's holding it with his <laughs> yeah, elbows. Yeah, no, 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 I, I just put. I, I put pressure here, so that's where the that's where the, the sticks are or the the paddles. So I can't really. I'd have to put more pressure on the top. Is that so the elite one there? Them. No, my elite is back there. This is just the regular black controller. I'm questioning how oh, I old we, we learned something new about Daniel. It's not weird. I'm just saying it's I put weird. pressure on the bottom of the controller. You admitted it was weird. Daniel, it's, it's not okay. Because I figured you would just be like, oh, why are you putting pressure at the bottom of the controller? <laughs> why is it weird, man? Okay, <laughs> well. Fucking... Uh, yeah, that just threw me for a loop. My whole day's fucked up now. Like. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you know when <laughs> we were like, you know the other day when you were like, what, what was it? You said we were on about the vibrations in immort Immortality. Yeah. And I was like, you were like, I was like, what about rewinding? You were like, what about rewinding? And I, I, I went to that kind of in private. I was like, this motherfucker has not got vibrations on. Should we tell him? <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even think about it because I was like, wait. Well, that game does audio cues. So I was just getting the audio cues. I just didn't know exactly that it meant something. But that yeah, but even sure. kind of funny made a good comment today. Like, how do you do it on a PC? Because my vibra my mouse ain't vibrated. Audio cue. Audio cue. There Same is an thing. audio that's what cue, I was yes. Using. But like, yeah, that's what I was using. Was audio you still cues. didn't notice for like three hours or whatever. Well, I mean, I think most people probably so, aren't going to Yeah, most people didn't you know. know. Like, yeah. I don't know how yeah. I knew. I think, was it Moon? Yeah. I found the old was lady it... within like first 15 minutes. Yeah, I was was, is it Andrew that said rewinding us? I don't know. I was listening to the kind of funny thing and they were like, oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. And I was like, how did you not know? But then See, I was like, the, how the... did I know? Yeah, we're jumping way into what we've been playing. But the first, th th when I did it, it was an accident. I was rewinding the scene and it, it was one that like, you didn't need to get it aligned immediately. And it just went boop. And then it um, cut to her, like looking at a picture. And I was like, oh man, I don't even know what just happened. So then it took a little bit to figure out it was the audio cues. And then that's, you know. Anyway. Next up. Xbox is getting a new <laughs> UI coming in 2023. Again. I mean, it's available right now for Xbox insiders. Yeah, they usually do. Program. It's, so it's probably going to be earlier in the year. I didn't see an actual date, but uh, the insiders usually get it. They testing stuff for like a couple months ahead of time. So um, it looks it looks pretty clean, uh, but they're only showing a few shots right now. Screenshots. So it looks pretty clean. Um, we'll see. They haven't really done any major updates in a while to the UI. Like, I think it's been pretty nice for a while, so. Yeah, judging off these pictures, it's not that drastic. It does look no. a little bit cleaner. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a, little, just a little bit cleaner. They're touching up kind of that front section that you're looking as you look at. Wrong one. Uh, back end stuff, maybe they'll do some more back end stuff that they're not talking about yet. Um, like actually navigating the store or something, maybe. But we'll see. Yeah, there's a Sims picture here. On this? There's a picture here. Um, I mean, it doesn't look too different. I, I'm not a big fan of this my games and apps thing. Like, I just I don't like the fact that I have to go somewhere extra to get the game. I mean, it's the same as all the, all the other places. It's just in a different spot. I don't, I don't know. Like, I I'm just I've never liked this. I've always I've 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 hated it since we lost the the blades. Yeah, the blades was cool, or like, even the the, so the last weird. one where you just kind of scroll up and down. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, like Switch is all the way to the end, right? So is PlayStation. You kind of got to scroll all the way past all your new stuff to get to the end or whatever. I just, I, 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 I don't like the Game Pass thing. It's like, oh, like you go to Game Pass, you go to Browse recently added, and I don't know. I don't. I just don't like it. But it, I think they're just trying to. It's there. It's the Microsoft way. Like you, you know, Windows is like that now. I'm and, not sure what you don't like about the browsing and the Game Pass. I mean that. They're giving you an option there where you just click on the game. Yeah, I know. I just don't like the fact that I, I mainly don't like the My Games and Apps thing. Like, I'd rather just, the, I mean, I think they've cleared <laughs> it up here. I feel like just every console does that. It's just in a slightly different location. I don't know. I just don't like, I, but with the game, with the PlayStation, all your games are in a row. Yeah, but then, uh, but I you're mean, talking I about mean, to get to my games in library, like to get to PlayStation, you got to go all the way this way. I know that. You go all like, the way but, down. But they're all then... there. I on this one, it's like, I mean, you I get, know. what, six I, I slots just, of new things you've done, I just right? Is that I how many it is? Like it. Is it five just, slots? I'm just so, ex- yes. you know, I'm so, what was it? Xbox 360. Yeah, the Blade. Blade. Classic. Are you talking about, like, the Not original this one? What are the other ones? Oh, yeah, those oh, are, are the you blades. talking about from the update when they did the avatar thing? Yes, that's what he's yeah, talking about, the final dashboard the for the 360. Dashboard. Gotcha. Yeah, like, this, this yeah, is when they ended. They ended the 360 this way, didn't they? Mm-hmm. If you can see it, like this one. Yeah, there was the uh, there was another one too where they introduced the avatars that kind of changed it as well, which is this the one, one right there. Yeah. No, that green picture you just had. No, one, go yeah. back. That one. Yeah, yeah, this that one. one yeah. The this top. is the. Yeah. I, I didn't. This was. I didn't mind. It was bottom two or when they introduced like Windows. Yeah. Eight. That was, this when, was like when the Kinect out. turned all on it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The Kinect and then Windows 8. Yeah. yeah. I, I wasn't a big fan of this one. Slide it. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. that. Oh, yeah. That was. But this, that I was, don't uh, know. This is my OG favorite right one. I like the yeah, big one... art style in the. Yeah. Oh, wait. It says Lego Indian. I like that. And then you, your achievements are right there. I don't know. I'm just. I suppose I'm just old. Yeah, that, that, that last 360 one was pretty good. Um, I, I like how Xbox is, is right now. I mean, I generally like, but all of them, like, there are things I don't like about some of them. So it's always just about touching them up. Yeah, it's just one of those things I couldn't give a fuck less about. It's just like, okay, whatever. <laughs> like, it just, just have my games there, whatever. I don't know. It's, it, it's fine. I could care less. So, you, know, you could just yeah. have it be the most plain thing possible. I'll be, I'll I mean, be that's fine. the Switch. The Switch yeah. is the most plain. And that's fine. It's like, okay, great. Just click yeah. on my games. Cool. It's fine. Next up. Great camouflage collection is coming to the PS5 as well as the Dual Sense and the Pulse headset. You'll now be able to get gray camouflage colors for your uh, PlayStation and the accessories. Yeah. Guys, Not how do a- you feel about this color? <laughs> Not feeling it. I don't like camo for, like, technology. It's all bad looking. No, neither. It just... Yeah, I'm not into this one at all. <laughs> I'm like, why, why would you want this? Why, why would you I want this? Some look cool, but it's just like, I feel like, why, why didn't you make like a, just like a, like a green one first or something like that? <laughs> pretty, I feel like gray camouflage is like on the, on the end of the list of what people want, you know? It's like, okay, we got yeah. like purple, red, black, uh, you know, it's like, you're still missing basic colors. So why don't we, why don't we get through those first? Then you can get wacky, but whatever. I'm sure people like it. So someone will buy it. Yeah. You get it in a bundle, right? Yeah, I think uh, you can buy like the the plates too of the uh, whatever. Right. I mean, take it off the PS5 and then put these uh, Sims great camouflage that your color. Oh man, it's fucking garbage. No. Well, then, I mean, <laughs> it's absolute trash. I hate camouflage shit. Like I don't know, I'm yeah. just not a big fan of it. It's just cool. It's just for the Call of Duty stuff in here. It's like, oh, Call of Duty's around the corner. Here's here's the camouflage stuff. They always release a camouflage around Call of Duty. Uh, but I mean, it's it's a nice um, it's nice that they're just you know you've got these plates now and it, I think you know we we seen the PlayStation colors you know their colors that they want to promote so we obviously pink purple blue and all that so maybe you know probably a good sign that you know we will get the plates for Spider Man you know I mean, maybe there's time there's time for God of War um, I think if we do get right, God of War plate, running out of time yeah I mean you know. There's still the, my, my, maybe at the end of the game, before we run at the end of the month. Um, maybe. yeah, hopefully we, I'm just holding that for Spider-Man ones. 
giving people options is always a good thing even if we don't really like this camo like it's for someone so yeah definitely yeah, yeah. um yeah foot camouflage I, I just such a i don't know anti-gamer i don't know like proper frat boy oh look at my controller it can't be anti they keep doing it with controllers it's I know, like but it's both like playstation frat and boy, xbox they both I have play so Call many of here's my i don't know yeah i don't know what kind of like just people, shit color, isn't it? people gotta be buying them that's why they keep doing them i assume yeah stupid people buy stupid stuff that's very true very true people keep buying fifa every year Madden every year 2k every year yeah i think you'd be lucky to get spider-man faceplates if i'm being honest do you think I think yeah. they'll, they'll, they'll make that a whole console bundle, if anything. I, don't know, I wonder if there'll be a pro next year with uh, Spider-Man coming out. PS5 they, Pro. They, I mean, might be too early. I mean, what was Jeff Grubb was? It, it would be the they... same time this gen. Well, maybe what 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 year did they? I just mean pro too early with how everything's happening. X come out last gen. Uh, I think the the X came out. The S came out in 2016, and then I think the X came out in. 2017 was it that late okay so i think I so they are a few years off but i mean yeah, you I'm know they, sure. they've um they've just um the they've redesigned the playstation 5 into x the interior interior the interior yeah. yeah so they've just shrunk a load of stuff like a load of components inside you know jeff grubb was talking about it on podcast he was just saying you know it could they could just make it smaller make a slim quicker make it cheaper not cheaper yeah, I it's can difficult. see that. It's, it's difficult. Sure. It's difficult in it because they've just raised the price. Just so right I don't now, think just raised the price. I don't think we're gonna get one. But I don't know. I mean, I think you know maybe maybe we do get a console. But there's a there's someone. I think some kind of insider. Obviously, it went around a bit. There was in they've they've seen or heard that Spider Man is looking phenomenal. Yeah, I saw that as well. Yeah, it's possibly gameplay soon. We'll see. Yeah, I think end of the month. I think. I think we'll get Nintendo Direct next week. And then yeah. PlayStation will be after. Well, the a lot rumor of... is that that got delayed because uh, your queen died. Yeah. There's so many jokes on Twitter. That's it? nice bad. It's, it, don't go on. <laughs> I mean, you can go on Twitter. <laughs> it wasn't a joke. That's what Jeff Grubb said. No, yeah. Um, yeah, I think there's a lot of rumors. Like, obviously, we've got the big Pokemon news this week and then we'll get Nintendo Direct next week. And then Sounds about right. there's a lot of things going on. Um, a busy September. You've got the Tokyo Game Show. We've got uh, D D D twenty four D twenty three tomorrow. D twenty three Saturday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like the next two days we're gonna be on fire. Yeah, we have yeah, a lot to. We'll talk about it next week, but there's gonna be a lot of news this next two days. The only thing we're gonna be thinking think of talking about next week, Daniel, is Cobra Kai. Okay, if you come on this gaming show and talk about video games, I'm gonna fly to Asheville. Quiet. I'm not yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's all I can think now. about. Cobra Kai episode next week. Cobra Kai. Let's forward to it. We're I skipping all wait. the big gaming news. I can't wait to watch every episode. All this mm-hmm. week. Just super quick, too. I'm going to be done with it by tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Next up, Firewall Ultra has been announced for PSVR 2. The game is described as a live operated first person multiplayer shooter. Oh, it's a mouthful. Now, is this like a like a deluxe version of this game, or is this? I was getting sequel vibe. Sequel vibe. Okay, yeah, that was what I was just put a two at the end. Then, okay. yeah, they're just kind of. Well, the other one was just called like what was it? Firewall Zero Hour. It had like a like a t- mm. subtitle, so they might just continue a subtitle as as all the games. Um, I know people really like that first game, and it seems kind of um, Rainbow Six Siege, where you have like operator characters you're selecting mm-hmm. with abilities. It's what I assume. So yeah, if anybody's excited for that, that's all. It's awesome. Be getting way more PSVR two news, I assume, with this new showcase. I'm assuming we're gonna get a bunch of it. Yeah, I would think that as well. I'm not too familiar with this game myself, but uh, seems seems cool. Multiplayer shooter inside VR. I, I, that's kind of niche, right? Very yeah, it's very Counter Strike kind of esque. Yeah. Turn like hmm. you you have one life and stuff, and multiplayer. Sim, did you ever play the first one? Um, yes, it was free oh, for uh, PS Plus. Not, not a good experience. <laughs> I briefly played it, very briefly. It was, yeah, it did, we did get it for free on PlayStation Plus, I think, somehow, some way. Yeah, I remember, yeah. I do remember trying it. Um, but I don't have, I didn't, I, I lost the room when we moved the living room around and 
It just became more cumbersome. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, you didn't want to put it on in the end. It was, we sold it, didn't we? Not long ago. So, yeah, the PlayStation VR just became old and cumbersome, didn't it? Like, quickly, unfortunately. So, yeah, uh, I don't remember much of it. Iron Man, I can tell you about Iron Man. Iron Man, sick game. We did a sound effects. I went. Discord's barely picking that That's up. That's the noise. <laughs> I was like, my mind, it caught it up. It's fine. You'll hear it. Yeah, tomorrow. it's very. It's a very high pitched noise. <laughs> no, it's not. Discord's not picking it up. I'm so, I'm sweating, man. What's going on? Seems to sweat. Next up, so... CD Projekt Red held a Cyberpunk 2077 direct on Tuesday. I don't know what they call it exactly. Uh, um, cyber, uh, cyber, fuck. cyber direct. Night. No, it. But, cyber yeah. showcase. It starts at night in the name. Direct 2077. It. Whatever, no. who cares? They <laughs> At the event, they announced the game's only expansion called Phantom Liberty it's coming out uh, next year, next spring. Oh, mm-hmm. And it's only coming to next-gen consoles and PC. They also showed off a trailer for the Netflix show Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Night next City. Yeah, next night City. Night City. Wire. Yeah. That's it. Wow, look at that. Okay. Good morning, Night City. <laughs> Remember Every how excited time. everyone was for this game? Yeah, like, I, you know, I, and it's great. It's great. It, it, was it, great. Wasn't, it was great. It was great. It was all right. Okay. Okay, so no you got you so hyped up for some Mafia Three game. What like, are you talking wow. about? Double A Mafia Three. Wow. What are you talking about? The You've not played Mafia Three actually. Right you can't. Know. I got a bone to pick with you, kid. What do you mean? You want to buy it last week? What's, in the your, what's your bone to pick? You not yeah. played Mafia Three? Mafia Three, great game. Is you just compared it to Cyberpunk? <laughs> <Mafia 3. laughs> I said Cyberpunk was great. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was ch- shut up. Uh, yeah, play <laughs> Mafia Three, mum. Uh, Sims, I'm assuming you're all over this expansion for Cyberpunk 2077. To be fair, that I've just finished it. I I, prob- I might dip in. Why not? Do you know what I mean? Let's see what's going on. Yeah, I'm gonna play it at some point. At some point, I'd like to replay the game and uh, redeem myself and get that platinum. You need to. You but I don't game. know when I'll end up doing that. If this is coming out spring of next year, good fucking luck. Yeah, I, I, I ain't touching Cyberpunk April. spring of next year. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no one's even gonna realize this is out at that so. point. So I would delay this till summer if I was. I mean, Project Red. I'm with you that it might get buried a little, but it is a very big game with a, sold a lot. Um, Eighteen million. Yeah, it sold a lot. So I mean, I think this might do pretty well. No matter what, no matter when it's released. So, um, yeah, it should probably come out as soon as it could, right? I think right now would be a perfect time, but if it's not ready, it's be not much ready. Better right now. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I mean, like I said, probably a lot of people will just play it whenever. It doesn't necessarily yeah. have to be played at that springtime exactly. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this. There's a lot of, there was like some loose ends and like side quests and whatnot in that game that I remember that like didn't get tied up. So I would like to see some of that stuff. Uh, get incorporated into the expansion but yeah i'm excited for this i thought the uh the little i played of the next gen versions of the game or rather this gen was a uh, it looked amazing so like i really wanted to run around that world again and like that's it's honestly like the best looking game i've seen still you know it's, it's just like when i uh what's it called fidelity mode when you put it in that and then run around cyberpunk it looked fucking incredible so i, I would like to play the whole, through the whole game again but I say that, and I said that last gen about FF15. I was going to wait for everything to come out and then replay it. Never did that. So maybe that'll end up being the same thing here. But nonetheless, an expansion's cool. I think it needs it. It's the only one, too, which is interesting to me. Yeah, I mean, I think we're kind of lucky we're getting this. Um, I, I I didn't really expect a ton of DLC. I, I'm not a DLC person. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to play this, but... Um, they did, I think, two big expansions for Witcher, and then it's a bunch of like little updates and small costumes and things. Um, I mean, well, I think one's enough, especially if it's a lot, a good amount of content. The other, those two for The Witcher Three had a lot of content. So, um, yeah, I really it, like DLC in these bigger games like this, like you know the Bethesda RPGs. Is mainly what I'm thinking of with Skyrim and Fallout and whatnot. I really like those. I've I pretty much played all those DLCs. So I really, you know, I, I think a good meaty expansion like that is always worth going back and playing because it is like a whole new game, right? Like because these are sometimes like 30 hours long, right? It's longer in most games that come out, anyways. Yeah, yeah. So if this is a very meaty DLC, yeah. Uh, one should be enough really um i think they kind of need to go all hands on the witcher 4 so oh they definitely will be 
um, they probably want to kind of get this out and have it be supported for a little while after, right? They'll probably still have a whole team um, supporting the game for any updates it needs or patches it needs. But I hope they're not scared to go back to Cyberpunk after the next Witcher. It like, sold I, way I, too I, well. I hope they make a sequel. I know it sold well, but I think a lot of those were when it was like marked off as ten dollars as well. You know, and it's like no. If you remember that first week, it did like over ten. No, million I know it did. It did like ten million yeah. right then, right? But I think when it got up to eighteen million, it's like okay, how many people went up and picked that up when it was ten dollars for like two months or whatever? Yeah, probably. I mean, a sale is a sale. I, just I think guess but. it. It. Uh, it made the studio so much like lesser in people's eyes, like for majority sure. of people. It's like, it's a, you know, they just got shit on from every aspect of cyberpunk really, except the sales, but it's just, it made CG project red downgrade from like, it was a top notch studio. And now in majority of people's eyes, it's not anymore. So yeah, I, I wonder if they would be scared to go back to cyberpunk. I would, ho- I would think not. I would think not. Um, yeah, I would hope not. There's Come too out, much man. here. Make a make a this next cyberpunk game. Make it what it should have been, you know, like this fucking fantastic game, you know, just like yeah. make it that ten out of ten. I hope they like want revenge on this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, they're 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 a very passionate team over there. I know they've lost a lot of people, but they're still it's a huge team with a lot of people. So, um, CD Projekt's always been a great developer. So I have faith in a sequel, and I have faith that the sequel probably will uh, not come out as quickly. And same with The Witcher. Four, I think the Witcher Four is they're going to take their time. Yeah, um, oh, definitely. But they're I also mean, working in a new engine. New Witch, yeah, they're on Unreal Engine Five now, which is great. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't expect the Witcher game till what twenty twenty six at the earliest, probably. Maybe twenty twenty five. Yeah, maybe like if if you're lucky, you know. And it's a uh, yeah. It, but then, then a cyberpunk sequel or whatever game they make after that, like you know, it's so far away. Yeah. But we'll see. Next up then. Tencent is investing heavily into Ubisoft with a $3 million investment and an increase in the stake in the company. I know they already own part of it. Uh, I think it's $300 million, right? $300 million. What did I say? Three. Three. Okay. Yeah, no, it's, a, it's a pretty hefty yeah, chunk. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah. Um, uh, this seems to be uh, where Ubisoft is going to end up getting the money from that they've been asking for, that they've wanted. I know they were looking to be purchased earlier this year, so maybe that's maybe not, not happening now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, I think the Guimalt family still is um, f- the majority owner, so it seems like it probably remain mostly the same. Um, who knows how much Tencent actually will have a say in it, but it's just another thing that Tencent ha- is in, and <laughs> like it's just a, the laundry list of stuff that yeah. they have their hands on. Tencent's just very odd because we never have. There's no like there's no one talking to us from Tencent, like what your plan is, what you guys want to do in video game space. You know, we just don't, like, they're just throwing money at shit and we get, no, there's no, there's no talk back to us. Like, it's like, okay, why? And they just, I guess an influx in cash. I don't know. Um, it's, it's, it's a weird future, but we'll see. I don't I, I don't like how much they have in, the industry it's it's a lot seems you got a wardrobe change you're showing some little little chest hair now get on so you. hot like I, all of us okay. i just keep getting dead hot and I'm, I'm just gonna get i'm gonna feel sick and it's just gonna be uncomfortable and like you're podcasting you gotta be comfortable right yeah what do you think about tencent and ubisoft i don't know it's very complicated isn't it very complicated situation i think i don't know by the, I think this time next year we'll be saying ten ten, not Ubisoft. Do you think, think they're going to try to do a, a full know, takeover? Buy. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I think I don't know. I think they're going to have another bad year, and then Ubisoft will will sell. Do you think next year is going to be a bad year for them? I think the next physical the, from from now. I mean, from now until what April. Oh, uh, this, this fiscal year? Yeah, yeah, I just don't think it's going to go that way. And I just don't... I, I just... I think Ubisoft will be the next one to get for the big, big one. And I think it'll be a 10... I think, was it... Who was it that quoted on the other day? Was it Phil Spencer that was, was like... What did he say? He, he said, like, Tencent and Sony. Yeah. Or was it NetEase or whatever? One of them. One of the big ones. No, it was Tencent and then Sony. Yeah, yeah. so I just think... Yeah, I think it'll be... Tencent. I mean, Tencent's already like- got the... Already got the fingers in the pies, haven't they? 
That's why. Yeah, and it looks like that's what I guess what you were basically saying is that's what Phil sees as like a big competitor right now. They're just their their hands are in everyone's pie. Yeah, they just they're everywhere. Even if it's small stakes, like even the front story last last week, sixteen percent. Like that's not much, but they're doing that little percent everywhere. That's that's a lot with, of with that. Info. Apparently, they also own a big percentage of the company that owns majority of the percentage of FromSoft. So it's like they own, they probably own more than that, like realistically. In a, in a way, sure. Yeah. yeah. Are we gonna get a ten cent controller? Ten cent console? No, I don't think so. Probably. I, don't, not. Uh, I mean, this seems a way for them to make money, right? Like that's that's what it has to be. Like I said, there's no one talking to us from Tencent. Like it's not like a Phil Spencer over there that's like coming out and like telling us what they plan to do with video games. They're just buying up little stakes and everything. Yeah. I do think Ubisoft will be into it. I think they will be bought. I think I just don't think. Unless I mean they could prove us wrong on Saturday and like, look, well, this is what we got. Like when we're back, etc. You know, beyond beyond good and evil. Like, is that his Prince of Persia? It looks better than ever. Or I don't know. Like, I think thinking about it earlier. Like, I knew, I knew, I knew Ubisoft were in trouble as daft as this sounds. Like when Connor says, "Oh, I was playing Far Cry and I was put, I just put it down." And I was like, oh, yeah. shit. Do you know what I mean? It was just like, and then I was like, I was like, it's just the same shit. Like, it's the same stuff. Like, I didn't like Watch Dog Legion. What was, I mean, I've not been compelled to play Valhalla. And, and I think Valhalla this? is their highest selling game ever, right? Isn't that, wasn't that the story? Valhalla oh, was just their best selling game in Ubisoft history or something like that. Like, I think that game sold bananas. But I understand what you're saying. Um, very samey, very open world, but maybe that, yeah, maybe you're right. This showcase, I mean, people that are hearing this will probably know at this point if this showcase was great on Saturday. So I think they have a lot to prove. Um, they have a lot of talent. They are a talented uh, publisher and they have talented studios. So I have faith that they can make good games. They just, I think they just need a little bit of a refresh, you know. Yeah, personally, it's been a very long time since I've loved the Ubisoft game. Like, I'm talking like early last gen, you know, late 360 gen, really. It was like when Ubisoft was at like its highest point, and then from there, it's just kind of been downhill for me. I enjoyed Far Cry 5. Yeah, I like 5, 6. I like them, but it's not like, those aren't like, you know, you you come on and ask me like, hey, what's name your favorite games ever, you know what I mean? Or name your favorite Ubisoft games ever. I'm not going to name any from like the last five years, you know? They all, they just became the same thing, didn't they? They they became very 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 similar, different IP, same same mechanic. They all had, you know, get get going, synchronize um, collect the collectibles, do the side quests. I guess you get I don't know Rainbow Six Siege. Siege is great. Yeah, but that was what that came yeah, out. Yeah, I'm what? just not. I'm was just not the most player guy. Like yeah, I'm exactly. never going to be in it. That was you know? where yeah. Ubisoft was there, wasn't it? Like, I mean, just the thing was the same year as Division, right? I think. Shout out to Division, man. Shout out to Division. Shout out. Well, sticking with Ubisoft, according to Jason Schreier, Ubisoft will be announcing not one, not two, but three Assassin's Creed games on Saturday, one of which is Mirage, which we talked about last week. Uh, The other two are said to be part of the live service Assassin's Creed Affinity game, the first being set in Japan, releasing in 2024. Let's stop there, guys. Japan, Assassin's Creed, coming in Assassin's Creed Affinity. Yeah, I think that's been the rumor, right? Was it Assassin's Creed Red or something? Was that the yeah, the, that's like the, the title code going? name or whatever yeah. going around? Yeah. Um. So I think that was rumored at the same time as Mirage, right? So I think that now that we know that Mirage is real, I see in no way that at least Assassin's Creed Red is real, right? I don't know about the other one because I think that's kind of that's been a curveball and a new new rumor. Um, but the Japan one seems seems very likely at this point. Yeah, it's been a long time coming with the Japan one. My thing is with this, if they're going to come out, let's say Mirage gets a big blowout on, on Saturday, right? That's I got to assume that's going to be the first game we see or something like that. We're going to see a lot of gameplay for that, what it's all about, etc. And then maybe the last thing they show is a hint towards Assassin's Creed Affinity and they show the Japan game and stuff. That better fucking blow me away, you know, like the next one after that, especially if it's going to be part of this live service model, which people are already really skeptical about. 
it's got to it, it's got to look fantastic. Like I'm expecting that one to be like, oh, here's like our first look at like the next gen of Assassin's Creed, you know? Yeah. And I think to that, if uh, correct me if I am wrong, didn't they say that Montreal and um, the other Ubisoft team? What's the other one? Montreal and uh, uh, I, I can't. can't I, yeah. I can keep track of these Ubisoft studios. Oh, uh, man, it sucks. I can't remember. Oh, is it uh, Quebec? Is it Quebec and Montreal? Yeah, they have the two? one there, too. Sure, um, let's put that. Uh, but uh, it was in the rumor that Infinity is supposed to be both of them. Yeah. So then the second game, we'll bring right? this in right now, uh, is rumored to be set during the Holy Roman Empire or the Witch Trials of the Holy Roman Empire. And then that will be made by the Valhalla team, I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I know the Japan one's supposed to be made by the Odyssey team. The other one is okay. by the other team, whatever it is. Yeah. That makes sense. But these so... are both set within Assassin's Creed Infinity. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um yeah, I'm I'm with you. It definitely needs to blow us away. I mean, maybe we'll get a uh I think it really needs to blow us away, especially if you're gonna show Mirage and then show another the next Assassin's Creed immediately after that. Like it better look maybe like Mirage is fantastic this year. Maybe it's December. And the rumor's spring, but I don't think so. I think it'd be way too early. I'm just I'm just throwing it out there. Late, rather. Yeah, maybe maybe it's December or January. Maybe it's very quick and then that next one is 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 coming sooner than we think as well so i don't know i guess we'll have to see saturday oh we know yeah mirage is sooner same as how you found about all this i like the idea of this open this like living world of assassin's creed like maybe do you interesting i mean i was thinking about what do you this. like about it i mean i, I kind of think there's a lot of games out there that just need to be it isn't gonna happen because it's money but like a lot of these, a lot of these running games that just need to be updated once a year, and just no one has to buy it. It just gets updated by a small fee, and that's it. Like Call of Duty, that are we we joked about it in Discord the other day. It doesn't really change that much, does it? Really? I know it's. I think it changes by... more than people think it does. But yeah, but on it's on the surface, it doesn't if, look. Yeah, like on it. the surface, and 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 the the how many millions of copies it sells every year. They don't know. They just want new shiny guns and a new map. They just buy it because it's new. Like, that's a, you know, that's it. And then they buy it, and then they moan it's not. You know, it's not because it's not the last one. It's not got the same kind of mechanics. I mean, they're not. I mean, hey, like not Halo because it doesn't come out once a year. FIFA that could just do. Oh, here's an update. Here's some new mechanics. Uh, get Madden, and then Assassin's Creed goes. It fits in that nicely. Like just update. Oh, you know. You in this big? I'm I, in my head. This 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 Assassin's Creed uh, live services. You play as you have a main character. Bring back Desmond because everyone loves Desmond, and he he works for who was the big company again? Sergo. Sergo. He's in this big Sergo. Uh, Obstergo. Obstergo. He works Obstergo. Obstergo. He, he owns Obstergo or whatever, and then he owns he has, it. Whatever. I think he's like, dead. To, <laughs> Is it Animal Crossing all of a sudden? What the fuck? Well, no, you, you know, like you're in this hub world. You're in this hub world where you you walk around, you log it, you know, here's your animus for Japan, here's your animus for this, here's your animus for that, or whatever. Or it's just one animus, and you you go to a hub, and you're like, oh, what world do you want to travel in? And you know, let's say the new big update was in Japan, and you go to Japan, it's changed. You know what I mean? Because obviously the the, the story behind it, the scientists have worked on it, and they discovered uh, a new history, a new part in history, etc., etc. And I, that's how I think it's going to work. I do. I really do. I think you're going to have that main character that everyone's going to... Re- or yourself. You're just going to create yourself. Well, I, I have a question to that. Um, real you? quick. Uh, I know we got a lot more news to cover, but I have one quick question to that. Isn't the thing that, like, Cassandra's now just going to be the main character of the whole series or something? Isn't there something about that? I didn't see or it. My... I didn't see it. Because I mean, it had something to do with the DLC? That like, I don't know. That she's like an immortal Good being idea. or something, isn't it? That she's like immortal. Isn't that part of like one of the DLCs? That she just like doesn't age or whatever. She's like an ancient one or something. And then she. I like... think they could certainly use a main character for this uh, mm. live service direction they're going in. 
My thing with yeah. what Sims is saying is like I understand it for Madden and FIFA. Like I think it would work really well over there. I think they'd probably make less money, which is why they don't. But uh, no, they're not not that much less because all they make is on Ultimate. Maybe team. not that much <laughs> less, but like they're not selling fucking sixty, seventy dollar copies yeah. every year yeah. of that game. Then right, maybe they would. Right, maybe the next upgrade would be seventy dollars. Then and they they would still sell sell the same amount. My problem with Assassin's Creed doing it is won't they all just feel the same then? Like, look how hard people are already complaining about, like, Horizon uh, feeling the same as uh, the, the last Horizon or God of War that having the same animations as the last God of War. People are complaining about that nonstop. How are they, they going to feel when Assassin's Creed comes out and it's literally just DLC every iteration of the same game, you know? Because they can't feel that different. It's not like going to be in a different engine. They can't. They're all in the same game now. Yeah, it'll just have different aesthetics. Maybe it have slightly. Like are we going to get equipment. five Assassin's Creed games in this uh, Assassin's Creed Infinity bundle as a whole before they move on to the next one ever? Like, it's just uh, imagine by the fifth one how bad people are complaining that it feels exactly like the last four. Yeah, well, I, mean, I think what they need to do is maybe drop the Infinity name and just have them be individual titles or something. I think I don't. I don't like the idea of it being a, a big one thing, and then maybe you're just buying the individual ones. But I don't know. That's just me. Because it's literally, I mean, they already do this to some aspect with their DLC. Because I know their DLC are very big and they put them out yearly. Or at least, you know, an Assassin's Creed can come out. Then the next year, big DLC for that. Then the next Assassin's Creed game. I get that. So they're already kind of doing it in a way. It's just, I don't know. I feel like people are really going to start. I mean, Call of Duty too. Call of Duty's gotten this its whole life cycle. People complaining that it feels exactly like the last year's Call of Duty. You know, it's a... Uh, if you do that within the same game, people are going to notice that even more. I, I think, agree. Yeah, I think with the Assassin's Creed, though, they've all felt the same since Origin, right? I mean, oh, I agree. They all I, have felt. I've not played Valhalla. But I mean, why? I mean, it works. I think the gameplay is great. I do. I think pe people yeah, buy I, these I, games I... for the setting. For you know, sure. Yeah, yeah, I want to go. That's a big. That's a big draw. Liking. Yeah, and so why yeah. not put it in? I think my idea is great. Fuck you guys. And um, I don't know. I'm not he, saying it's bad. No, your idea yeah. is what they're doing. Like, that's, you're, you're exactly right. With, with um, the FIFAs and stuff, like, I, the, you know, you, I can see why they don't do it because people want something new, don't they? Do you know what I mean? Like, they want to buy something new and shiny. And this is why iPhone releases an iPhone every sneeze. And he's just like, a iPhone 10. You know, what I mean? like, you know. And that's I what they're going to do with these. But I, I don't know. I think, you know, with, with most games, like it's just money in it at the end of the day. Some some of these games, you could literally just... I mean, Destiny's smashing it. Look at Destiny. Like, Destiny com becomes relevant every six months. Again, like, relevant. Yeah. Like, I spoke to my friend, my, my the guy that works at the shop. What are you playing? Destiny. You know what I mean? Like, why? No update. Mm-hmm. So, they have the whole season model now, so people come up for that new season. And you love that new season, don't you? Influx. No, I haven't played it. No, but, I mean, I'm just saying you don't like the season model, do you? Oh, no, 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 not at all. I would rather them just release Destiny and then release De Destiny 2 and then Destiny 3 and then, you know, that way. That's what I would prefer. Me too. All right, well, we're going to find out on Saturday. On the fight. Assassin's Creed showcase. Is that like it? What, is there a big fight? No, oh, there is a big fight on Saturday. <laughs> but no, we're going to find the Ubisoft they did on Saturday. Next up. Atomic Heart. Is it Heart or Heart? It's Heart. Heart. Atomic Heart has been delayed to winter of next year. So sometime between January 1st and March 31st of next year. Mm -hmm. this game, it's coming to Game Pass, right? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. It's it sucks. You know, there's another game that probably would have been better to release in December, but oh, it's gonna get buried next year. Yeah, unless it comes out in January, you know, that would be a nice time if they can fit yeah, it there. Oh, god, really? Yeah, because this game looks really cool. I love, I love the vibe of the game. Cool. So. This is one of those that's been around for so long at this point, where it's just like I don't, I, I'll believe it when I see it when this game comes out. Yeah, we've been hearing about this since like. I don't know. It's got to be at least 2018. maybe. It's a very long time. It's one of those. Yeah. I know Sloan's upset. He, he, he wanted to play this game and it's a Sloan game. Huh? He, he, uh, he also drafted the game in our league. So. Oh, did he? Huh? 
yeah. get your dots low. Uh, yeah, I think Escape <laughs> looks really cool. I don't. I, I'm curious if it's more of like a RPG, you know, cyberpunk Fallout kind of style, or if it's more of a linear thing. I'm not really. I think sure. it's going to be more the Bioshock. Looks very fun. Or Bioshocky. That's yeah, cool. that's, that's the cool. vibe I'm getting. Into that as well. Yeah, I think it's going to be a little bit more linear, maybe a little bit more area focus where you just kind of get into an area maybe it'll be multiple levels and things like that within an area but i think that's kind of how how it's going to work they also just got a publisher for this game it's a focus home that makes sense because you were interested xbox you should pick this one up mm, yeah. Good one. yeah sims how you feeling i don't know i've not seen it i don't know what it is Listen, the problem is now like all these things keep oh, You've watched the Xbox showcase. It was there. I don't remember. Let's have a look. Uh, Xbox have just like announced some Game of Thrones fucking Xbox Series S, and it's fucking dope. Ooh, it's a House of Dragon theme. Yeah, it's so nice. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not gonna be other old Game of Thrones. It's Is probably it House on fire and covered in blood? No. <laughs> you would hope so. You would hope so, right? Smell like, that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that is badass. Does it come with the chair? What is that? <laughs> no, no. Well, come with the chair. That is. A... <laughs> Can I sit on the chair? Give Get me a little... the chair. Phil, I want the chair. The Iron Throne. I'll tell you Um, Let me have a look. Dirk, wait, sorry. Oh, it's so hard. All right. Sim's going to look at that. Yeah, it looks very good. I mean, it's a first person shooter. It does look very Bioshocky. I don't know. I'm curious how big this game is overall. Good question. Isn't this made yeah. by a Russian developer? It is. It yes. is. Okay. So I wonder if that's part of the delay. I uh, could just uh, troubles with with development, probably. I assume. Yeah, it's not like this is the first time this game's been delayed either. So yeah. yeah, I think it was supposed to be earlier this year, right? Yeah, I think. I mean, shit, they might have had a release date set in like 2019. For all I know, who knows? <laughs> probably. But yeah, yeah, more delays, more games coming out in the first six months. <laughs> yeah, it was great. It was really good. I don't remember. It says it looks it good. Looks cool. it's cool. No, remember. Take your time, man. Take your time. Yeah, that yeah. Says. I mean, you're right. Take your time. What is it? Mia, is it Miyamoto? He once says, "Please take your time." Quote. Nah, that was it's... Genghis Khan. Oh, okay. Yeah, Genghis Khan. A delayed game is bad. Games are bad. There's so many like, um, like I hate edited video games. <laughs> so edited, like loads of edited images of Miyamoto and the quote is quality. Like the quote has been so badly quoted. Like I I don't know the quote anymore. <laughs> like, it's so bad. I have a good one. Where is it? You have a meme saved. I do. Yeah. Quote. <laughs> one is it? A delayed game is bad. A rushed game is bad. All video games are bad. I fucking hate video games. Stop making them. <laughs> Find me a model. I, I love that so much. Uh, next up, the Yakuza developer has announced a RGG Summit, which I believe is the name of their studio. What is it, Dan? Mm -hmm. That's the initials of their name. It's a Ryu Ga Go, Go Toku. Sure. So this is a direct of some sort for this studio. Uh, probably get some Yakuza 8 news. Yeah, I'm assuming we'll probably, if it's a, a, like a, a thing like this, they might have multiple games. I'm 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 wondering if they'll maybe talk about Judgment or whatever that next thing will be for that other team. <laughs> Can't they not um, make Judgment anymore? Like yeah, the, that's my that's mm -hmm. that's my the question. Was like a pedophile or whatever. What happened? No, there? that's not. No, you don't not make. Did I make that up? Not, okay. Yeah. No, no. That it, it was about. No, not at all. It was about <laughs> his agency, and his agency did not want his the stuff on Steam and his likeness on Steam. It had nothing to do with it. Because he was a pedo. All right, Sims. How do you feel about pedophiles? <laughs> um we're lucky no one watches this show imagine if we were famous and i said that oof <laughs> be a rough day on the internet <laughs> phil spencer's in the chat he says um he? so wow. so close he says i'm so canceled. close <laughs> <laughs> um like, what i don't um 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 people I'm indeed. Yakuza 8. I'm very excited to <laughs> see this. Me, yeah, I, I just beat Yakuza 7 like a dragon, so I'm oh. very excited for you. Seeing anything Yakuza 8. I, I'm all in. I'm, I'm down to play You're it. You're all in now? Yeah, I'm all in. I'm down to play it. I'm curious to see what upgrades they make in the next Yakuza, because from like the outside looking in, all these Yakuza games look the same, you know? And it's just... uh, Like, do they use the same cities over, Daniel? No. No? Okay, it's a different city. I mean, that's most of the time... This is from the no, that no. Is different most of... Here. Most of the time, it's most of the time you're going to Camarocho, but there is always like a second city. 
Like you get like Sonbori is always a city you can go to as well. Sometimes they'll do another city. Like I think six had like a different city. Three has had a different city. This is seven is a completely different city. Like you go to uh, Kamarocho in seven, but like yeah. the main city is not. That's Yokohama. So um, they they've done other cities. I mean, Kamarocho is the city. That's like the red light district. That's the one that everyone knows. That's the main Yakuza city. Um, but I don't know if if eight's going to be in Yokohama in that new seven city. I'm not sure. I'm assuming it will be. We're just gonna ignore Sims. I don't know what's going on. I'm just there. holding my controller. <laughs> oh, I would hold it. Are you trying to like cool off your head with the no, controller? No, no, no. I'm just holding no? my controller. This is how I hold my controllers. Like Daniel said, he holds it. <laughs> I, this is Do how you, I like, smash your head. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought of it. I was like, how can I just? just how can I just tease this mind. bastard? Like, how, no, seriously though. Like, let's just. Go. Like, how do you like what, like you hold the controller? How do you hold this controller? I own all I said was like, I hold it. I put pressure on the bottom. Go, That's yeah. all I said. That's just literally all I said. Normal. I'm holding just it normal. It rest in your hands. I do. No, because you're gripping it. And like this. Like really. And like like what was if you snap the controller? Just, just. Chill, I'm not man. snapping it. Why are you so? I why are you so aggressive, like Daniel? Why are you holding it like this? It does seem very aggressive. What's wrong, Daniel? That's just a natural sitting position for me. See, now you're holding it like Jim Ryan. Well, no, I, this was to show you that I, I put pressure here first, and then I, and then. And that's what he was doing, you know? Maybe we should. No, he was doing Jim this. Ryan so he was doing this. Like this. That... What's going on, Daniel? Well, I always so aggressive for Maybe man. he's playing Mario Just Kart let, Wii. Let the controller be. Yeah, good. that's what he's doing. He's playing. <laughs> we, don't know. we don't know what he was playing. So aggressive. Our last news story Marcus Litho? Lito. Lito. There's an H there. Mm -hmm. Uh. Yeah, Marcus Leto's new EA studio called Ridgeline Games is working on a new narrative battlefield experience. Yeah. Of some sort. So we knew I that believe, he... Uh, what's his name? Ben Sambella is involved somehow. Uh, Isn't he overseeing uh, all of Battlefield I think now? he's overseeing the whole thing, but I don't know how... You know, I don't think his hands are going to be too much into the, <laughs> uh, the nitty-gritty of the game. Uh, but, I want Ben Sambella to get his hands all um, up in this. Yeah, I think... Um, I think that we knew that he was doing a Battlefield game, right? But I don't think they had a name for his new studio, right? Uh, this is the first time we've seen... No, oh, no, no. This guy. Le yeah. Marcus Leto. I think this is the first we've seen his name, the name of the is studio it? and okay. stuff. So, And it's a narrative campaign. So it seems like it's mainly focused on single player, which is, I think, pretty cool. Fuck yeah. Can I get something to replace Titanfall 3, please? You know, just anything. It, yeah. anything. Can you okay, guys just make cool. this Titanfall 3? Call it Battlefield? I don't care. I'll know it's Titanfall in my heart. Sure. My soul. I want Titanfall 3 still, but it's not respawn, but you know. Whatever. Vince Pellos involved. Uh all right, cool. Battlefield. Sims, any interest? I'd I'd like to look at the shared uh, shared screen. That'd be great. I told you how he was holding the controller. <laughs> there he is, there he is. That's also how Daniel cool. holds his controller. Now Jim, Jim, Jim. Jim I want Ryan you to is also putting a lot of pressure on the back end of the anyway, controller. Like Jim, I need you to just relax and hold the controller how you hold it normally. Okay, okay, like this. Yeah, 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 you do that. Um now I want you to look directly into the camera. Okay, okay, okay. Now can you smile? Okay, uh, are you in pain? No, this is how I smile. No, he's okay. A... Okay, Jim. Okay, Jim. Are you sure you hold the controller like that? Doesn't everybody? No. <laughs> <laughs> I always hold no the controller like this when I'm playing my favorite oh, video no. game. The he sequel to Horizon no Zero heads. Dawn, Horizon Forbidden West. <laughs> I mean, I bet he's not even like, I bet there's not even a PlayStation in the room. Like, hold the lights on. Is it though? Yeah, the light is on. Yeah, oh, it's, it's got to be on somewhere. Photoshop the light in. Uh, interesting Never tactic, Jim. Possible. Interesting tactic. Yeah. And that'll do it. Get out of the week. Of the week. Not the busiest week, but next week. We'll oh, be there ready. is a there is an Nvidia showcase. Ah, oh, I thought you were gonna say there was another leak. No, say, change the yeah. another title, Nvidia boys. leak. <laughs> uh, the Nvidia. There's a special broadcast. Uh, 20th of September. So we'll probably get the 40 cards. All right, you PC nerds, I'll have fun with that one. I love a good NVIDIA. We will now move on to what we've been playing. Right. Sims, you weren't here last week. Let's start with you. What you been playing, bud? I haven't really played. I've not played anything this week, but I still got to talk about Immortals. Um, Immortality. 
Immortal. You can't even hold a controller. It's probably. actually pronounced Immortals Phoenix Rising. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, Immortality Pfft, took over the world, didn't it? That that did. Like I wasn't even thinking, planning, or playing this game. And then you guys were like, "Oh, you just uh, have you done this?" And I was like, "I just finished Firewatch," and I was like, "Whatever, I'll try it." Like it's seven in the morning. I didn't play got Firewatch. Ah, uh, last week. Ah. <laughs> I played it last week. I played. I finished like Court of the Lamb, and it just. Wait, why did you not play Firewatch? I've never played Firewatch. You never, never played Firewatch, huh? Because it was like it was always been the game that I've like. You watch the trailer and it's like, who's in the? Who's in that? Who's in that tower? Ooh, like this looks. Like I've always watched. I've watched the trailer so many times. Um, and it's so good game. Terrible ending. He, oh my god! <laughs> I don't think the ending's bad. Terrible. It, this fucking guy that can't hold a controller doesn't think this fucking game is bad. <laughs> I like the game until like the last twenty minutes. I'm like, yeah, oh, it's you. uh, if we, briefly let's talk about Firewatch. Um, yeah, it was like really good, like really like I I like the, the way the game starts. It's like it it literally just tells you like, look, your wife's got dementia. You meet it gives you the story. Meeting your wife gives you the choices. Your wife's got dementia, and you basically do a runner. Um. You know, you buckle under the pressure. It's got to be hard. You, you know, you, you're in your forties as well, so it's really, really early dementia. Bless her. You know, bless her. This fictional character. Um. Yeah, and then you're on this grand adventure, and it's really, you know, you proper in our uh, proper grip. So it's like, fucking hell, who's listening to these messages? Like, you know, you and this woman are obviously falling for each other, which is a bit, you know, dirty. You know, a bit gross because obviously you are married, and um. And yeah, and the, the scenery is great. And then, I don't know, it all kind of just falls apart at the end. Like, not falls apart, but anticlimactic is a good word for it. Like, you know, this, the kid, you know, the I think it was it, one of the other Watchtower's kid dies and he does a runner and she 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 is partly to blame because she didn't say anything. Uh, um, you know, the, 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 the art style and the colours... Oh, brilliant! It's not wonderful. It's such a magnificent game, and the storytelling is amazing. Um, I think we all—I don't know. Part, you know, you kind of think, oh, you got to run away and be happy together forever after. But it, it, I think the, the 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 message of the game is life don't work like that. You got to face you've got to face what you've got going on head on. Like you can't run away from it. Like it would have been a sh- it would have been a shit shit ending if he'd he'd got a helicopter. So she's there. Eh? And they'd lived happy ever after. It, no, like you've got a wife, you got to look after her, and yeah, you can you can go here and clear your head, and you know, figure it out. You know, he's allowed to do that. You know, parents didn't think highly of him either. But I, the, it, it, that wasn't my problem. It was more the problem of like the dr- the dramatic. You know, he someone's listening to the conversations. You know, there's this tent. You know, some of the traversal wasn't. It didn't feel great, but the storytelling was really good. And I think the the worst part about it was the bo- you know finding the body. Who, why why is this guy recording our, our conversations? But when it you know when it did come to finishing and you don't get it back together, you know you gotta go be a husband to this, your wife at the end of the day, or you're just a scumbag. At the end, really, if it really gets if you go down if you if you really look at it, you know if you look at it beyond the love story, he he would have been a bad human being. And she was right in what you have to go and do. You got to go and do that. So yeah, yeah, really good. I'm glad I played it. Like I always wanted to play it. It was something that it was on a bucket list of games. And uh, gone home as well. I I put that. I just played that in a night in a day. How did you never play either of these? I mean, I already knew what happened in Gone Home. Like it was, it was almost like you know the indie Gone Home the... even worse ending. No, <laughs> Gone Home is so uninteresting at the end of it. Like, all right, cool. She ran away. Great. I think it's that's I it. think... It's a more personal story. Eh. It's more of a real personal story. Eh. If that's not real. what you're into, that's fine. I don't think it's a, that means it's a bad ending. I think it's horrible. I think I really like the part in Stanley Parable where you end up in Firewatch all of a sudden. <laughs> you're in the you're in the cabin. Did you guys get this ending? Uh, <laughs> I think the part I where it goes to. into Rocket League as well, where you're in the stadium all of a sudden. I didn't get to Rocket League. No, no. Oh, okay. There's Rocket League end- these new endings. I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. I think they were part oh, of the yeah. thing. But no, there's one. There's one ending in there, Stanley Parable, where you're walking around the cabin in Firewatch. Hmm. Pretty cool. Interesting. Yeah, That's Days funny. Gone. Not Days. Is Days Gone. Yeah, Days Gone. I already knew what happened. But I knew. Gone but it home. was almost. But yeah, where have we got Days Gone from? Um, <laughs> gone home. Yeah, I knew the ending. I knew what it was about. 
I just, I don't know. I kind of just wanted to experience it. Do you know what I mean? Like, being yeah. told, and then I think I'd watched Natalie play it not long ago, not a couple of years ago. But I don't know, it was nice just to walk around his house and just get some information. Like, uh, it was, it was a lovely, it's a lovely story, to be fair. Really nice. Like, well told. Um, but I think if you're playing it, I think if you played it day one, I know, say hypothetically it came out tomorrow, it does give off the heebie jeebie vibes. And I think a lot of people would buy it and be, you know, he was dead inside, like Connor, and be disappointed. I am dead inside. Uh, all right, did... immortality then. Hold on, I've, I played Court of the Lamb. Oh, okay. How was so that? I... Uh, really, really good. Really, I I finished. I finished Elden Ring at the worst possible time on the beginning of my week off. So I was like, "Oh no, <laughs> oh no!" I got nothing to play for the week. So I was on and on about Court of the Lamb, and then I put I put it on, and I was hooked within an hour. Like the the the, the game loops, just fucking addictive. Really, basically, you 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 fight some bad guys. You get some, you get some cool, you get some fucking cheap people, and you just make them do shit for you. And you, there's nothing more powerful, <laughs> nothing to feed the ego. It's even better than like these these little things are gonna do stuff for me. Um, everything was going well. Um, it wasn't very hard. I put it on easy. Uh, I'm one trophy away, and it's glitched. Really? Yeah. Wow. You salty. I wasn't until about nine o'clock last night when Natalie flattened it. Oh, she got the plan. Interesting. Yeah. What this... else do you got to do in the trophy list? Uh, I've got to get all the tarot cards, and uh, there's this, this mm, spider okay. that gives you. You know the spider, don't you? Uh, I've only seen it. I don't. I yeah. There's like a spider. That I know what it is. Yeah. Followers, and he's in one of the uh, four um, roguelite areas, um, and you got to find him. And he basically, if you see him more than three times, he's like, oh, oh, you're a good customer. I'll give you this tarot card. But it just doesn't. And I, I must have went through on one day about 40 times. Nothing. Hmm. How many cards are you missing? Are you missing one. a good amount? One. Just one card? Just him. I just need are him. Are you playing this game too, then? No. Oh. Uh, Sloan did, didn't he? Mm-hmm. I watched mm. him play a little bit. Well, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Basically, I played a lot of Quarter Lamb. Did days, days, did get gone home. Did Firewatch, uh, then Immortality, and then I went on holiday. Oh, oh, and I've been doing. I've done um, Earth K, uh, but I'm I'm two episodes behind. Uh, yeah, I really I, liked, I missed this week's episode. I liked episode three. Song Daniel, you an idiot. I really like this game. Like, I really like. I like the game. I just didn't like the. I like third the song. song I like. I like the. I like the JR on, on episode three. And I'd be dying to get back to it. And like tonight is the night I can get back to it. Because I've been yeah, busy. Yeah, the watching. final episode, right? So yeah, but I've got. To, I've got to play last episode. But and they're five. Yeah, me too. Me too. There will yeah, be five. Today's the last one. Yeah. Oh, they're already on the fifth. You guys haven't played the fourth. I missed no. the fourth this past week. So gotcha. Oh. I've I, yeah, I've been waiting for it to finish. So I'll probably check that out too this week. But no, yeah, I literally, yeah, I, I literally finished today. Firewatch on Wednesday morning, and you guys were rabbiting on about this game, and I was like, "What the fuck are you on about?" And I put it on Immortality. Like, well, what am I playing? What, uh, what is this? Like, what is this? And then it became, "What is this?" <laughs> like, and I was hooked, just hooked, like all I could do. And then the worst part about it, right? Like, you guys have spoke about it a, a bit, but like the worst part about it is all the nudity in the game. And the fact that the, the rewind mechanic is broken. Like, th th there's no doubt about it. If you want a scene to start, if you want to rewind and get that good scene, you've got to do it pinpoint accuracy, right? Oh, it depends. It is so, finicky. Some of them... Well, the, some the, of them... The, it, the, the one where she shoots him, that's really finicky. I don't know if it's broke. I think it's intentionally finicky. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah some really of them annoying. are not finicky. Some of them no, are No, some of them are easy. Some yeah. of them, you can just... Yeah, it, so I think it's just... That's just how they are. They're so anyway, there's, like, this, there's a scene in there where he wants her to like make love to her from behind, mm -hmm. like fake. So there's a scene in that somewhere. So I was in Natalie's there playing Court and Lamb, <laughs> and I'm watching this scene over and over <laughs> and over. And Natalie's like, and I, I get, I'm getting hot, I'm getting sweaty, I'm getting, and I'm like, it's just a matter of time. And she's like, "What are you playing?" And I was like. <laughs> 
There's a scene. <laughs> I need to get the scene. This is acting, Natalie. <laughs> this is video <laughs> games in 2022, okay? <laughs> but from her to her, I'm re-watching this scene 20 times, getting off on it or something. Like, you need to. You need to. I get it. <laughs> it was so awkward. She was like, what are you playing? What are you watching? <laughs> I like, I'm sorry. <laughs> it, was just so, it was just so awkward. I've never felt so uncomfortable and i'm and i'm trying to be like be, i'm trying to like act angry as well I'm like fuck's sake gotta fucking watch it all over again like fuck's sake but i, Darn, was I gotta watch this again <laughs> it was it was really frustrating though and it got it got more frustrating like there's a few there's a few, like you said i think it's, it's intentionally finicky like just to try and find that literally one frame like trying to get it like especially when the just before she shoots thingy i don't know if i'm going spoilers yet um that that scene where it changes it over did. No, because I said thingy. There's no thingy. Yeah. Well, no, no one knows a thingy. What else do you shoot besides a fucking gun? <laughs> no, but the, never mind. What? Okay, okay. Have you guys finished with it, done with it now? Yeah. I have mm-hmm. done with it, yeah. Oh, did you? I, I, I mean, li- listen to Kind of Funny today. There's some bits. There's, there's something about World War II that I missed. I was like, yo, I need to watch Um, it. I don't think it's ever stated that what time it is, but it, they 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 hint it. at that yes i don't know I think nothing about world war ii either they don't they they don't say world war ii but they hint at a, a long time i think i don't think they say ever say world war ii but they definitely say uh kind of they hint at that time i don't think the name world war ii ever is stated but they hint at the uh, i say i don't want to spoil anything unless we're spoiling well, well why don't we let's spoil it just uh, let's go into full spoilers because i really want to talk about this game like well, you'd have to, sure. uh, daniel you're gonna have to like game. you're gonna have to put spoilers in the in the game description in the description channel okay if you're watching live right now we're about to go into spoilers for immortality yeah let me just check okay that. so the the that the oh, what what, what you're referring to there is what no one said it. hold on what you got five seconds no anyone in the chat right. 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 we're gonna go you're listening it out. we're out Okay. All right. Sorry. Go. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So what you're referring to there is there is a monologue with um the uh the lady, uh the immortal lady, and she is referring to one of the people that she has taken over. And it they it, it she takes him over in a barn. Um and the they she is basically referring to that that is probably the first time that she actually ran into uh Marissa. Um, and there's a reason why Marissa really hasn't even aged between the second and third movie and stuff is that she has probably preserved her body for a long time and probably been using her body for a long time. I thought she got Marissa in like some village or something. I mean, there's yes, something where she was talking about. Oh, yeah. is that the scene? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. that's why. Cause they didn't say world. They war never II say world war two. That's what I was saying. Oh, okay. They never say that. Gotcha. But, it was just around that time scene. or something. Yeah, sure. yeah. Well, they it hinted at being. Did yeah. did I mean we're getting way off track? But like, did she take over Marilyn Monroe at some point? Or uh... um, they are hints that she's taken over Jesus and a lot of other people throughout history. Yeah. Uh, okay. Someone took over Jesus. Wow. We're talking is, about no, there is like, a yeah, scene. There's a big. She... There's a big monologue no, she... of her describing. There's a big herself. monologue. She... Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's on I, the crucifix. Honestly, and stuff. like, yeah. I, I'm really so I I'm really stupid and I I left this game, no idea what happened. Like, I didn't understand any of it. I was just, like, transfixed with it, trying to work out. I was like, oh, what? I was under the impression that someone just died in every film and it caused problems and they just put up shop. I wasn't really on... I didn't really understand until someone told me today that she was taking over these people. Like, I yeah, I was confused about... I thought... I don't, I don't know. I, I was just... Maybe I'm just so stupid. I just didn't understand the game at all. At all. I think there were just enough pieces for me to put together the overall like story to it. Maybe not. I, I didn't know everything. I still don't know everything. I can't like put it all together, but I have just enough to where I can like think it through and like what, what exactly was going on here. Yeah. I mean, there, there's a lot, there's a lot of um, narrative, even in scenes that, you know, are just acting. Right. Um, I mean, they even, the, the, they hinted the other one, which is, I guess the, the guy, the immortal guy. I mean, they hinted him being multiple people too. Like, yeah, he has taken over throughout. So basically, what well. I got was like these two beings, whatever they are, are going in and out of different people, taking over whoever in different time periods, seemingly at odds. 
in yeah, kind of not at the adds, same time. I don't know why they keep meeting yeah. up for these different stories. They're, they're, they must be somehow bonded together in something. Because I know it seemed to be, yeah, the I, guy, the first time you see him, he's Satan in the uh, the first movie, right? Mm-hmm. And then uh, he's he comes back again as uh, Carl in the second movie. Yeah. Right? And then he is Amy after that. Yeah. Which is interesting. Mm-hmm. With... I just I forgot what I was gonna say. Um I just I I never got there's a scene, I think it's a talk show, where I think um Minsky just got cancelled and then like he's talking and then you can rewind it and she's talking. So is does that give you does, is that saying that she is him? Yes. I think so what happens at some is point when she, she took over Go ahead then. Oh I'm sorry, if you want to say it. No, no, you go ahead, you probably explain. Uh it. She when I from basically what I gathered is when she kills Carl, um, that like broke her, um, and I guess she would assume it killed the other one as well, and she let Marissa go, and kind of bonded with John. Yeah, because she and then kills when Marissa, John at some point. Yes, and then she, she kills takes John. over him. Yes. Yeah. So it seems like maybe that. When Marissa comes back, she tries to take she tries to maintain both of them. And that's what affects Marissa and John a lot. You see them passing out. You see her nose bleeding a lot. Her head is bleeding in that one scene. Seems like maybe it's taking too much out of her or something. Yeah. In control of both of them. Um, because it she has like just that killed her somehow. And then it also seems like she assumed that the other one was dead. The one that is Carl. Yeah. They cremated Carl's body, and then they say I an never seen at that one scene. point. Never seen that. They, they, there's not a scene. They just she says they, they say Carl's yeah. body. Yeah, at some point, and then uh, she, she she assumed that burning the uh, whatever them those beings the other are, one I think is what uh, she yeah called completely him. gets rid of them. But then somehow Carl took over Amy. You yes. know, and then what I got from that was that he took over Amy by Amy watching Carl die. By, yes, because yeah. if you. Uh, get to that scene where you rewind the bunch where carl gets shot amy is watching in like a movie theater yeah. uh that scene of carl getting shot and then yes. amy gets taken over by that other okay. which 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 can i just jump to the end real quick yeah which which is full circle with yep. her burning uh he, him burning her and her taking us over exactly yeah which is why the last um, achievement's called part of you yeah so it's supposed to be like that being has now taken over you at the end of the game, which is just a mind fuck. Whoever I, the player, and after all made. of that, honestly, I I didn't I I maybe I don't know. I was paying so much attention, but maybe I don't know. Maybe I was reading too much into it, and I wasn't listening as well as I should have been. Because like when she starts monologuing on her own, it just I heard it. It kind of just became gibberish. Like I don't know. I was just a bit. You have to really pay attention to what she's the saying. The monologues are all hints. Like, you know, yeah. she says burning. So it's like, okay, go click on fire a bunch and you'll get to important scenes or something like that, you know? Yeah. But I mean, Reb, I think Red Valentine in the in the kind of funny spoiler cast, listen to that. She just, I think she does a really good job of it, to be fair. I don't know if you agree. Because obviously, oh, I don't she did a great job, yeah. Have you heard it then? Wait, who are you talking about? Reb, Rebecca Valentine. Oh, you're talking about the kind of funny part. Oh, okay. Well, okay. what I thought you, you were talking about? Just I, no, I thought you were talking about her monologues. So like, I no, you listen to Reb. She now that basically, basically gotcha. tells me what you just told me, and I was like, I, I, I don't know. I felt so. I feel so stupid. Like, I well, really I didn't understand the part of you part until after I beat it. You know, until uh, I think I read something online about that. Like, I understood the other one taking over Amy. I didn't understand that she was taking over the player until, like, way later. Did you get the scene where the, like, it all makes sense to me now, like, uh, it was Cole and Marcel? Marissa. And then you rewind it, and it's them two in the bed. Yes. Yeah, I must have. So obviously now it makes sense. Well, I, just, I just thought it was just another like. Well, there's even a scene. Uh, there's a scene that even hints at like the stuff in Minsky with. Um, there's one where it's she is kind of like, oh, he is not who he says he is. I've and seen she's that talking bit. about Carl being the other one. Yeah. And she's she's like kind of breaking the meta narrative down to John. Um, I wish we got like, more of like what their intentions were exactly. Like I understand hers was like she liked being famous, right? Like she she liked that lifestyle. It feels like she liked humanity and yeah. art. 
Yeah, but right? then why like, why did the guy version come? You know, like because he doesn't. Seemed like he was trying to fuck with him. Yeah, I yeah. think that's the point. That's why I said I think that there is a they don't. There's like a duality there. I think that they are forever entwined, but they also don't really vibe with each other as much. So did she so intentionally kind of, shoot Carl? Uh, that's a good question. They, yeah. uh, um, the, I think she, like, I took that she made did. her shoot him or something like. I kind of took that she wanted him dead and gone. Yeah, trying to get rid of um, him. That's why she cremated the body as well. Yeah, yeah. that's how I took it. Um, but yeah, it's, I mean, it's a good question. I mean, there's a lot of there, there are still like hints of like things that I didn't really get explained. Like, like why did she kill Robert? We never get. I don't think anything else with Robert unless I missed something. Who's like, Robert? Did uh, Robert plays Ambrosio? Yeah, like because they, they were saying so that she on, stabs the right and they kills Robert. They don't understand why Ambrosio didn't come out. Yeah, well, like they, she stabs and kills Robert, but then he is also in that after party scene. So did someone uh, see? There is a shot that I don't know. I tr I tried to tell you to get Sims, and I think you did, and I think I told Connor about it. There is the there's a cave shot that seems like there are maybe more of them. They, yeah, I never seems found like. the cave one. I saw that. You one, didn't but see I the cave get one. Back to no. it. I could never get back to it. Okay, so there is a shot where it starts with Robert and Marissa kissing, and then if you rewind it, it's them. Then you get to like this cave shot. Uh, and it starts with this this man, and then if you keep rewinding it, it going, it, there's like another lady, and then it is the main lady that we see. Um, so it seems like there are, I guess, now four immortal beings. There are two more that they not maybe just them at? taking over two at once because we know she does that. Mm, but it's not what the they made only it point like, that happens with the in, is with the director and uh, Marissa in the ca no because in the cave yeah. it seems like they are they are being made or something. I don't know. Cause they are waking up looking around. Then you rewind it. It's this lady waking up and looking around. Then you rewind it again. And it is the blonde lady waking up and looking around in this cave. It's a close up shot. So okay. it seems like that these other two are potentially being made as well. Like we don't really even know what she is. Is she some sort of angel? Is she a, a demon? Is she uh, a God? She's Who scary knows? as fuck. That's what she is. <laughs> yeah. <she's... laughs> I think the man's scarier, but yeah. I think yeah. he's intentionally scarier. I'm glad I played it. I'm glad I now understand it. I just, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm just maybe stupid. It was just, it was really. It's a tough game to judge, I think. You know, it's it's a very unique game. It's a, there's really nothing like it. I, I'm sure there's other games are somewhat similar, but. uh yeah, yeah. I'm glad I mean, I'm playing it, it just from how unique it is, and I did like it. Will either vibe overall. with you or not? Yeah, you know? I just think, like I said, I just think there's just enough to put stuff together. I don't need answers to everything, but like as long as I have just enough to put it together, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I like. I mean, it, it, you don't need always need a story to tell you exactly what happens. Like that, that's kind of boring sometimes. You want a mystery. I think there's a lot. There's a lot more here. I would like to get all of the clips and actually watch these films, you know, everything chronologically, I think would be yeah, pretty nice. Give me a cut of the uh, the first movie. <laughs> There's a cut of, honestly, I would like a cut of just like, give me all of the clips in order, you know, like that chronological. Um, and then maybe like a cut of like the secondary clips, the clips within clips. And then like I can watch all that together. Yeah. Or like a cheat code maybe that I can unlock all of the clips. Oh, I would like and that. Then, yeah. yeah, that'd be better. Yeah. just do it on youtube too or something like that i'm sure someone That's will make true. a clip on youtube I someone's gonna rip it yeah, yeah, yeah i think i think sure. something yeah but yeah it was it was good i i might i'm interested in like her story and stuff like now telling lies is, is great yeah it's your story on consoles i don't think, I so. port I think it's it? still no. pc maybe so, it's i think it might be a mobile ipad version but it's mo i think it, it was just mostly pc cool it's, it's telling uh lies, but, oh, finish up no, yeah, I was I was gonna move on from Immortal. Telling lies. What have uh, you been playing? Oh, what did you want no, to say? It's, about it's telling lies easy to play. Yeah, it's the same thing. Is it? Yeah, you're just clicking instead of clicking on clips, you're clicking on keywords, and then it'll take you to another clip. It's the same type of similar type of game. Okay. You may speak now. Uh, all right, cool. Well, I've beaten Yakuza like a dragon. 
Yeah, so you, you have you. beat Thank Yakuza you. Like a Dragon. Thank you. Liked it a lot. Liked the overall story a whole bunch. There's some conveniences with some twists at the end that I'm going to There always like, will be. Yeah. Eh, you know, it's, that's a bit too much. Two babies in a locker story. at the same time in the same <laughs> yeah. on the same night and in the same 10-minute span. Okay, yep. sure. Whatever. That's Whatever. a Yakuza that's story fine. for you. Yeah. Yep. We just met this guy named Mirror Face who can disguise himself as any other character, you know, and he was part of the bad guys team. But then 15 minutes later, he's part of our team. Off screen, we made that arrangement, I guess. Okay, whatever, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I still like it overall. Ichiban's a really cool character. He's like one of my favorite video game characters. He's so fucking cool. Uh, yeah, really like the party and stuff overall. I'm going for the platinum now. So uh, wish me luck with that because it's is it a long platinum. Like, long. Do you have more achievements? Long. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. I I feel like I don't even like fully know what I have to do yet because there's some with like you know complete all the dungeons and it's like I don't even know where all the dungeons are. I don't even know how many there are and stuff like that. And I, I think know there's the... one in each of the towns, right? Okay, and then I know the last one's supposed to be like really difficult. The last uh, tower you got to do, so I know that's supposed to be really hard. So I'm just kind of grinding towards that now. But yeah, really like the game. Looking forward to eight now. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm glad you finally playing... played. The Last of Us. Oh yeah, I've put maybe like an hour into the, the Last of Us. It's great. It's uh, you know, it's the fucking Last of Us. It's the, you it's know the, the reviews, everything. Last of us. It's the fucking Last of Us. It's uh, you know, everything. You know what this is. You saw a trailer for it. You, you know exactly what this is. It's the Last of Us. It looks better than ever. It looks, you know, it's on par with any game that came out now, graphic wise. And uh, yeah, I don't. I, I've been kind of caught up in Yakuza, so I didn't get to put too much time into it. But yeah, put like an hour in. Oh, you go. Before you go, what was that last? What was the first fifteen minutes like? Of the Last of Us? I mean, I don't, I don't know how many times I've seen that first. Yeah, no, but like yeah. compared, yeah. like you've seen it so many times, like you know, yeah. As a, is it Amy or Sarah? Sarah. 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 Yeah. As she's walking around, like, what's that like? Because you always look around that house, don't you? I mean, really, I mean, that first, I, I was just kind of just admiring the graphics at that point. Yeah, that's what I mean. Was it and everything like that now? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like I said, I mean, it's on par with any game released nowadays. You know, I'm not saying it's like the best looking game ever, but for a remake, it's, you know, it's pretty impressive that it looks that good. When we're doing a God Yeah, I'll probably just jump into more of that. Yeah, I see, I was down a month ago, Sims. Now, now it's like. But what's happening know. in September? There's nothing happening in September. I don't know. Metal Health. Metal Health Singer. You know, maybe that's good. You know, who knows? I might who start knows? dying light with that. To be fair, I might because I'm not super interested in anything in October either until like the very end with Bayonetta. So I don't, I got, I got some time here to kill. Maybe I will yeah, replay God of War. I might do dying light. That'd be a good one to kill some time with. Daniel, anything else you've been playing? Uh, let's see. Uh, I, I, I have been playing with the Wonderful 101. Uh, I think I start. I think I talked about starting that. I, I beat that yeah, you game about a little not, last week. Yeah, not not too long. Uh, it's a, it's a typical you know platinum game. Um, super fu- super fun. It's you. It's kind of like a mix between a platinum game and like Pikmin, and you have a hundred of. You can get up to a hundred, basically people, and all of the different like main wonderful characters. They're like wonderful blue and red. That's like kind of the main team, and they're all very like typical Power Rangers type of uh characters very like stereotypical um power rangers it's very funny and uh each of those those the main team they have a particular uh ability and you have to actually draw the ability with the pikmin other people and you use the right stick to do that i found that a little finicky because like uh, i'm not trying to draw this one right now like uh, i gotta redo it and Sometimes they want you to do it in a certain amount of time. They want you to like, oh, draw the the punch. And you have like 10 seconds to draw the punch. And sometimes you'll fail, but um, <laughs> yeah, it's super fun. Uh, I, How I is it compared a lot. to other platinum games you played? Uh, it's a little more kid friendly, even though like it still has innuendo jokes and, and like very sexual stuff, mm-hmm. like shots of like some of the ladies like platinum always does. But I'd say it's pretty kid friendly. It's actually a pretty jolly game overall. It kind of has that Saturday morning cartoon Power Ranger vibe, and it kind of keeps that. A lot of the characters are kind of chibi like. Um, Is it up there with like your favorite Platinum games? Like, I know you really like Nier and Bayonetta and whatnot. I wouldn't say so, but no. I still love the game a lot. Sure. Like, I think it's a worthwhile playing the game. Um, 
I think it, like, it's a very grand story. Like you're fighting against like an alien invasion. Um, and obviously it's platinum. So at the end of the game, like <laughs> you're taking on galaxy, <laughs> like it's, it's insane. Um, but yeah, if you like platinum, I'd say check it out. Cool. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what are we all playing next? What's, what's, what's this week for you guys? Dark Souls. Back Dark to Souls gone back dark. in the grind. Back in the old grind. Sims? Well, I, don't, I don't know, really. I'm going to finish OFK over the weekend. Cobra Kai over the weekend. OFK as well. Obviously, we've got D23 Friday. we got Ubisoft for Saturday. Um, maybe Dying Light. We're not. If she's not feeling it, maybe Last of Us. Any recommendations other than that? I can't really think. Disney Dream whatever the fuck Val. Dreamlight Galley. There it is. There Anything it is. Anything else that you can enjoy? enjoy do, 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 do? Nothing new. Maybe Metal Hellsinger might speak I'm to you. I'm not really feeling it. Still no? a week away. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's a week away. I might play Dying Light or The Last of Us. I'm looking forward to finishing OFK. And uh, I hope I'm, I'm just keeping an eye out for this fucking court with a lamb. Oh, and I have got big plans to set up the PS4, transfer those saves over. Cool. It's exciting. Big plans. Looking forward to it. I'm blurry. I get, get that Star Wars trophy. Again. Nah, nah don't do that. Don't do that. Doubling up on the Platinums. Oh, man. That'll do it from their God's Podcast, episode 135. Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe to us over at youtube.com slash nerdicgods. You can also find us on all audio platforms. Bye-bye, everybody. Take care. Bye. Uh, rest in peace, Queen Elizabeth II.